I'm Justin Adams for CBS in Denver, and the Denver Broncos are like Humpty Dumpty. They've fallen and can't get up. They've lost four straight, but they have a chance to even up the record on Sunday as they take on the Washington football team. Now, here are the four keys to Sunday's game. In September, Teddy Bridgewater, he was the man. He had four touchdown passes with no interceptions, and he completed over 75% in his passes. Now, since then, in October, he's thrown eight touchdown passes, which is good, but also five interceptions. Teddy, he needs to go back to taking care of the football and completing passes at a high rate. That's going to greatly help out this offense in general. Now another thing that helps out the offense is having your number one receiver back and Jerry Judy will return from his ankle injury and his speed and ability to get wide open on third downs will definitely help out the Broncos passing attack. Now before Jerry Judy was knocked out in the first game of the season he had six catches for 72 yards. Now let's talk about that defense and man do they need some help. During the four game losing streak the defense has allowed 129 rushing yards a game. In the three game winning streak that they had to begin the season they only gave up 59 rushing yards a game now this is an easy one the Broncos must stop Washington's running back Antonio Gibson or they will have no shot in this one especially if Von Miller can't suit up and finally it's time for the special teams to be this look special and that starts with Deontay Spencer now he's fine as a punt returner with the seventh best punt return average in football but he also has the third worst kick return average in the NFL now teams are purposely kicking the ball short where Spencer, he can't kneel in the end zone, so he will have to do better and uh, on his kicks returns and also give the Broncos better starting position in general. Now, those are the four keys to the Denver Broncos game against the Washington football team, and you can catch our recap of the game on Sunday at CBS4 on Sunday at 1035. Have a wonderful day.